It's wonderful to share, share this time and space with you. Settle into your mat, into your sit bones. And let that be a physical gesture of settling into here and now. Our class today I called um, Yoga for Showing Up. <laughs> and as I sat in meditation before class, I was reflecting on what asanas would actually be part of that. And then I noticed that showing up can mean so many things. Showing up as our true authentic self, showing up, showing up towards our feelings, showing up with regards to our responsibilities and ultimately showing up is to me about being present um, about dropping into the here and now and and showing up with everything that we are this moment so some days there's a bit of a sadness or there might be anger doubt fear anxiety and Showing up is about showing up with all of that, showing up from a space inside you that is bigger than any thought you might ever think, bigger than any emotion, any emotion you can possibly feel. And showing up means coming back into that space and again and again, <laughs> picking ourselves up and facing this world from that space of, okay, Let's try this again. Let's do this again. Whatever this, this is. <laughs> so showing up meaning really making an effort every single day to be our very best selves of giving and sharing and, and being there for ourselves, but actually for one another. And so I designed our class around that. I invite you to close your eyes if you haven't yet. I invite you to truly soften into sit bones. So we sit down in this very conscious way to, to create a disconnection from our day-to-day -day snoozy sort of habitual way of being. So now we sit in a conscious way. We shift from left sit bone to right and back in a conscious way, exploring with curiosity. How do I sit? What's familiar? What's unfamiliar? We notice our spine stack, our body in space. As we close our eyes and settle inwards, we continuously keep one part one share of our awareness outwards. We notice sounds that surround us. And that's actually a beautiful place to start. So as you settle in, take your awareness, take your attention to sounds you hear. You might want to start with something close by. So I have a heater next to me and I can hear the flame. And become really curious towards those sounds. Really want to hear, get into it. And then move your awareness to sounds that are a little further away. Maybe still in this room you're in. Maybe next door, outside. And become curious. Maybe a car, a car alarm, <laughs> or birds or wind, or the sea. And maybe we can expand it even further, hearing the city, hearing the mountain, the sea. Maybe expanding it even further, getting a sense for the sound of earth spinning through space. <laughs> Become curious. Ask yourself, how far can I go? How far can I reach? How far can I hear? And that, that depth of curiosity, take it back, come back here and 
apply that to the things you feel inside your body on the level of sensations and also on the level of emotions and notice become really curious that feeling in the tummy it might feel like a warmth a wholeness and i'm just giving you ideas sometimes it feels like a snake i often have big huge octopus in my belly <laughs> At least that's what it feels like. Become curious towards these sensations. Maybe today you feel your heartbeat, your pulse. Or simply your lungs expand as you inhale and soften as you exhale. And already we notice how many layers this present moment has, this here and now, and how much there is to notice. And we've only just scratched the surface. Keep delving, keep noticing the fabric on your skin, air brushing past your skin. Notice the sensation of your hair wrapping around your head. Maybe feeling the space between your eyebrows and your eyelids. Treating everything that arises with curiosity. Noticing. What am I feeling in the heart today? And allowing it to be there. Remembering that the world inside ourselves is no different to the world out there. Some days are rainy, some days are sunny. Sometimes it's day, sometimes it's night. Sometimes winter, sometimes summer. Sometimes we inhale and we're full. Sometimes we exhale and we empty. The same with our emotions. Same with our thoughts. Maintain that space between that still point within you, witnessing thoughts and emotions. Notice sometimes we feel cuck, sometimes we feel amazing. It all comes and goes. It all flows like water, like air, like seasons. Everything flows and there's a space within you that maintains stillness, a space within you that is eternal, timeless, always present, noticing and watching. Connect into that, that space. And remain connected in that space. As we bring our hands onto knees, keep your eyes closed for now. Cup your hands onto knees and I invite you to start moving forwards and back. So rolling onto front sit bones, onto back sit bones. Just rolling forwards and back. Hands on knees, keeping knees low and maybe you, your spine wants to move with maybe an arching, and a rounding, a rolling in the shoulders. And then it might become a circling movement. Trust your body to guide you so there's no wrong or right. Move into those spaces within you that might feel a little tight, a little tender, and add an extra breath, maybe tilting your head side to side, lifting one ear at a time up to ceiling, maybe the chin and rolling, finding space. And this next time we roll into front sit bones, let us fold forwards. Fold your chest into the space between your knees. Let your forehead drop onto earth. Keep your sit bones grounded deeply. Have the intention of melting into earth, melting into mass, softening. No need to hold on to anything. Let breath flow. Let sensations flow. Continue to bring your awareness towards spaces. And then roll your chin to chest. Coming up, roll your shoulders back a couple of times. Let's stretch our arms out wide. Spread your fingers out wide, as wide as you can. And make your fingertips touch the side walls. At the same time, your shoulder blades slide down. Feel your lower ribs. They slide down as well. 
Picture your pelvis and your ribs as two bowls coming towards one another. So you're moving into your center as you stretch out and reach out. And now we'll bring our hands a little further back. Point your elbows down, turn your palms up, and how about we lift our gaze? And as you lift your gaze, lift your sternum, lift your collarbones with. So lifting heart, open wide. Keep reaching your thumbs towards one another. Keep reaching outwards. Stay strong in your center. And we'll drop our chin again. We'll bring our hands back. Grab the opposite elbow behind. Grabbing the elbow. We lengthen, we roll our shoulders back. Imagine you could make your elbows touch the mat and then gently ground them into lower back to lift your heart and chest a little higher. Feel your collarbones widen and your front shoulders open up. Taking time to explore and feel. And then see if you can take that length in your spine into another forward fold. Resting forwards, keeping chest and heart wide and open. And to come up, we lift our gaze first. Chin, chest, flat spine coming up. See if you can lift your feet here. If you need your fingertips on the mat, they're welcome to help. Uncross your legs, cross them the other way. Sit a little taller, lift your navel, lift your heart, lift your sternum, drop your shoulders and then cross your legs. Sit high and tall, hinge forwards and back on your sit bones. Find the front sit bones, slide your shoulder blades down and then lean forwards. Folding forwards, notice if there's a difference. Using your breath, every inhale is space. Every exhale is softness. To come up, we bring our chin to chest and round ourselves up to sit. We release our elbows, stretch our arms out to the side, spread our fingers. On our next inhalation, we reach our arms up as if we're grabbing the space above our head. And as we exhale, we slide our shoulders and ribs down. Now, as you inhale, you lift through your spine and through your crown, through your center, and exhale again to soften through your periphery. Inhale one more time. Reach and rise to center. As you exhale, turn your palms upwards and bring your hands down onto earth. On your next inhalation, rising arms up. Grab the space above. Exhale, slide shoulders, ribs down. Connect through your center. Inhale, lifting into crown. Lift your navel up to heart. And exhale, hands down onto earth. End of your exhalation, inhaling, arms up. One more time, grabbing the space above us. Exhale, soften shoulders. Inhale, lift and lengthen through center. Keep that length as you start twisting there. Bring your hands down onto knee and onto mat behind you. Now roll your shoulders up to ears, back and down. As you lift your chin, you lift your sternum, you lift your collarbones with. Feel yourself leaning into yourself. So instead of hunching, rounding, lean into yourself and twist deeper. Turn your gaze to opposite shoulder and turn your head mindfully, but as far and as deep as you can. Continue to slide your shoulder blades down. And then looking over back shoulder again. Slowly, mindfully, go a little deeper into your range of movement. As we turn back to center, we rise our arms up. We exhale our hands down onto earth. We inhale our arms through the sides and up. We exhale our shoulders and ribs down. We inhale to grow a little bit taller. Feel a contraction around your pelvic floor, twisting the opposite way. Exhaling, hands down, back hand onto mat, one onto knee. Roll your shoulders back, lift your heart, widen your collarbones. Turn your gaze to front shoulder. So turning gaze forward and go deep into your range of movement. Continue to lean yourself back. Wide and courageous heart. Turning gaze, looking over back shoulder. Go a little deeper than you ever have. And coming back to center. As we reach our arms up, we inhale. We exhale to soften shoulders down. And right hand comes down onto earth. We move it over to the side and we reach through our left fingertips. Now keep your left sit bone deeply grounded. 
grounded. We need that foundation to expand, reaching up. And then exhale your left elbow, your top elbow, elbow towards right knee. Round your spine, round your spine. Spin, spin, chin to chest. <laughs> and rounding lower back. And inhale to reach it up. Spread your fingers. Look at top hand, not just from the eyes, but turn your gaze towards top hand as if you're looking with the tip of your nose. And reach up to sit. And exhale, the shoulders come down. Inhale, the crown rises a little taller. Feel yourself get taller. Hand comes down and we move the other way. And we notice, we notice our shoulders stack, our hips stack. Reach, ground your right sit bone. Inhale here for a little more space. Exhale, bend your right elbow slightly and point it to left knee. Round your lower back, round your upper back, chin to chest. Breathe space into shoulder blades. On your next inhalation, you rise your hand up, you strive it up, you look up with the tip of your nose, looking at hand. Slide your shoulder blades up, lean into yourself, rising up, inhale here, exhale, <sighs> shoulders down, inhale, crown tall. Hands come onto shins, bring them a little closer if you can, roll over your feet onto hands and knees. If you want to do that another way, then go for it. So your knees under hips, your hands under shoulders, spread your fingers wide, gently circling around our wrists, circling, stretching the wrists, preparing them to take weight, rounding our hands, and maybe it feels true for you to lift the palms and stretch out from index finger to pinky finger. Notice how the hands might differ and be with it. Be with everything that arises. Bring your hands down again. As you inhale, you arch. You lift your sit bones high. You lift your sternum high. When you bend your elbows a little bit and notice which direction they point and hug them into hips as you lift your chest a little higher. Maybe you extend your arms again. Keep sliding shoulder blades down. Lift your throat, open heart. Beautiful, another inhalation here. We exhale to round it out, rounding tailbone down to earth, chin to chest, lengthening the neck, lifting navel up to heart, broaden shoulder blades. Staying with it, maybe swaying hips left and right, right and left. And on our next inhale, let's arch, let's open up. And I invite you to flow with your own breath, in your own pace, another five rounds through this cat and cow movement. Moving forwards and back, cat and cow. Exploring the sensations along the spine. Sensations in your center. Exploring breath and movement, how they tend to link naturally, organically. And maybe by now we come to the end of our five rounds. We'll settle our sit bones onto heels. And then folding forwards, reaching your hands or rest your forehead onto earth if you can, or it rests wherever it is. And reach your hands a little further forwards. Let's look forward. Spread our fingers wide. Notice a big stretch from sit bones into fingertips. And then from here we'll round ourselves up. And we'll flow forwards, the hips soften down and the heart opens up. Roll your chest open, point your tailbone down, point your knees slightly outwards and reach. And then flowing back up, so onto hands and knees, strong navel, rounding into child's pose. From here, rounding up, and it's like a wave flowing through us. Coming into this cobra variation opening up and again do five of these in your own pace with your own individual focus and attention showing up for yourself showing up for what it is that you need this moment not fitting into a box not being anything anyone else tells you to be but make this moment make this breath Make this movement yours, owning it. We meet 
in child's pose. And this time we round ourselves up to sit on heels. Stack yourself up as you come up. Always running shoulders up and back. Let the shoulder blades slide down. Let the rib cage slide down and then grow tall through your center, through your crown. Lift up onto knees. Bring your hands alongside the thighs. Slide your hands down. Feel your crown rise. Feel yourself grounding deeply through feet and knees. And then maybe staying here. This is enough. Just focusing on tailbone pointing down and hip bones lifting up. Thighs pressing forwards. If you want, gently turn your palms forwards. And already you find a little more opening into chest. Maybe your hands come onto the back thighs as you gently open a little more. You're welcome to keep your chin to chest for now. Really contracting here in your glutes, finding your center. Every inhale, you grow tall through your spine. Every exhale, you soften your periphery. And if it feels true for you to bring your head back, you're welcome to do so. Strong through your center, so your lower back does not take strain. And then slowly coming back up, coming onto hands and knees, spreading fingers wide. Witness your hands, watch them as you do so. We tuck our toes under and lift our knees up into down dog. And gently walk your down dog, arrive here. And no difference whether you've done this 10,000 times or 10 times or never before, explore. Explore this moment. Embracing and remembering that who you are this moment has never been around before. You're not who you were yesterday and definitely not who you were last week and absolutely not who you were last year. But yet we get stuck in those perceptions. See if today, here and now you can break that open and make space to be who you are this moment, to be the presence that you are this moment. Now we'll release both heels down to earth. Take a look at fingertips and feel your hands reach forward. Shift your weight towards feet. Lift your sit bones up high. And then inhale here and exhale. You relax your neck. And you relax your collarbones even further down towards feet. Keep that external rotation in your upper arms. And then we lift both heels, bend both knees, look forwards, lots of space between body and mat as our right foot lands between hands. So right foot comes forwards, knee above heel, adjust your length, feet hip wide apart, hands onto knee, stack yourself up, knee above heel. Now we stack a little more, we lift our front hip bones, we bend our back knee, and we just lift and lower it a couple of times. Maybe you sway your hips. And get into the legs. Keep your pelvis upright. Remember that deep connection of ribs and pelvis. Imagine bungees between your lower ribs and your hip bones. And the same here, keeping that distance. And eventually we lift up. We check our hips. Left hip rolls forwards, right hip back. We lift our left kneecap up and drop our left heel down. See if you can shift deeper into front knee. And then maybe the hands can rise up. Remember to exhale the shoulders and ribs down. And as you inhale, you rise a little taller to your, into your crown. And maybe lifting gaze as your hands reach back slightly. Reaching and leaning back and stay with it. Stay with what's alive right now, this moment. Tap into your center and expand from there. Now coming forwards. Hands come down alongside the hips, palms face forward. Roll your shoulders back, open your chest wide, lean forwards, find your right foot. And just be here for a moment. Finding right foot ground and then slowly lifting out of right leg. Lifting into left leg. Keep your heart wide and open. Looking at my rocket and rosemary bush out there. <laughs> Reach and lean. Take everything in that is part of this moment. Continue to expand and step it back, rising up. Inhale here and exhale. The hands come down onto earth. 
Let them ground in your own perfect way. Bring your right foot back. Maybe straight into three-legged downward facing dog. Challenging yourself to reach your heel up to sky. And the leg comes down. Resetting for a breath or two. Have a look at your feet, they're hip wide. Lift your heels, bend your knees. Lift your heels as high as you can, stretching the toes. We look forward and we watch and witness our left foot landing between hands. Now left foot ground, knee above heel, hands onto knees, slowly stack yourself up. Lift and lower your back heel a couple of times. And then stacking yourself further up so your hip bones lift. We need to maybe start with our back knee bend a little. Lifting up and down. Align your hips towards the front of your mat. Right hip rolls forwards, left hip back. And yes, I am huffing and puffing as well. <laughs> and yes, my legs are also shaking. <laughs> and then eventually, see if you can lift your back knee and drop your back heel and shift your tailbone to point down and forwards and shift your pelvis and knee forwards. This might be enough. Maybe you shift your arms up. Inhale to reach. Exhale to soften the shoulders and the ribs down. And it might be even space to lean a little further back. Notice where the weight is in your feet. Wiggle your toes. Check your front foot weight in your heel or in the bases of your toes. And then coming forwards, leaning forwards, hands come around in a big movement, spreading fingers wide, our heart is wide and open, part of showing up, heart wide and open, not knowing what's to come, we step onto left foot, and we explore, we let our left leg ground, we reach our right leg up, and the side might be more turbulent than the other, notice those things, and reach and expand. Reach and expand. Strong center unfolding outwards into space. Stepping it back. I like doing a little celebration here. Yay! <laughs> and then slowly we flow our hands down onto it. Spread your fingers, ground your hands, find your left leg striving up into three-legged downward facing dog. Right heel low, left heel high. Another breath here. And bring your foot down. Bring your knees down. Point your toes back. Settle your sit bones onto heels. And forehead might be on hands, on fists, or on mats. And if you like, you bring your hands around. Hands in line with heels, with feet. And if you like, you interlock your hands behind you. Reaching your hands away from neck. Maybe arms up and over. You might even roll onto the crown of your head. And you might even tuck your toes under and lift your knees. <laughs> you might even go further. I don't know where. Feel free to explore. Become curious. How does this feel being upside down in the world? And find your way back. Release back into child's pose. Let the crown of your head soften again. <laughs> Bring your chin to chest and round yourself up. Take a moment here to give your body a moment to adjust. So making sure you're ready to be back up, straight up. And from here we'll come onto hands and knees, tuck our toes, find our plank. And plank can totally be supported by knees. Extending tailbone down, lifting navel up and in, look slightly forwards. We'll have another breath here. And then exhale it into down dog, shifting hips back. Now, walking hands to our feet. How about that? Check your feet, they're hip wide apart. We slowly lift our chest up, lifting your heart, poking your sit bones back. Create a long line through your spine and the hands might be on thighs. Elbows tucked in. Maybe the hands in line with ears, but see what works for you. See if you can bring your torso parallel to earth. Knees can be bent for that, or maybe the knees open up. And we'll take another deep inhale here, and as we exhale, we 
Soften our legs and we oh, give our body permission to just fold forwards. Now if you like, you can bring your hands to hips and just tilt the pelvis a little further forwards. Lift the kneecaps a little higher. Lift your sit bones a little higher. Shift your weight into the front of your feet and front and back. Feel your hips stack above your feet. Shake your head no and not your head yes. Let your spine lengthen and hang. And we slowly bend our knees, ground ourselves deeply into feet and round ourselves up to stand. Coming up and unfolding yourself. <sighs> Open up wide. Rolling shoulders up and open hands and a willingness to, to be vulnerable, to, to open up and say, hey world, here I am. And then we rise our arms up, we soften our shoulders down, stand our tallest selves, maybe onto toes for a moment. Feel that strong lift from the insides of your legs up into crown, continue to soften the shoulders. And then heels come back down, sit into Utkatasana and straight through Utkatasana, folding forwards from the pelvis into forward fold, striving sit bones up. We bend our knees, look forwards, find the front of our mat and creepy crawl our way forwards. Bring your feet a little wider than the hips, shoulders above hands. Now the one option is to bring the knee onto mat and come into the side plank. The other option would be to roll the heels onto mat and coming into side plank from here. Choose what's true for you this moment. No wrong, no right, no good, no bad. <laughs> Maybe your body can guide you a little deeper into it. The leg might lift. Maybe the leg wants to step back. Feel free to explore. Maybe your body comes up with something really fun and really nurturing or really challenging and we find our way back into plank pausing in our plank finding the other side so either the knee or the heels finding the other side shoulders stacking and hips stacking feeling free to explore a little noticing how different the sides might be Maybe stepping it back, opening up, a bit of a show, show rock star pose, <laughs> showing up, and we'll come back into plank. Take an inhale here, exhale that into down dog. Oh, shake our head no, and not our head yes. Embracing this moment, resetting. Bending knees, looking forward, left foot lands between hands. Right knee comes down onto earth, pointing right toes back and gently softening into hips. Lift your heart, draw your knees away from one another, make sure left knee above heel. If it comes too far forwards, just shift your right knee back. Find a bit of space here. And then right hand comes down, left foot to outside edge of mat. Hand comes down, we gently lower. We Gently sway and move. Find space into hips. Coming back up, lifting chest. Hands ground shoulder wide underneath the shoulders. Right toes tuck, right knee lifts. Left foot steps back. Shifting into down dog as you exhale. Having a look forwards, lifting heels. Finding right foot between hands. Left knee comes down. Left toes point back, gently sway. Open your heart, roll your shoulders back. Find some space in the hips, strength through your pelvic floor and center. Hands come down on the shoulders, right foot walks to outside edge of the mat. We sway, we move, we sink and drop into the space inside our knee. Soften downwards. Coming back onto hands, hands shoulder wide, tucking back toes under, lifting back knees, stepping foot back, down dog. Now we'll have a look forward, we'll walk our feet to hands and come into a squat. 
just a brief little squat. So your elbows to inner knees, open your knees wide, consciously using your elbows to open knees and open heart, making space. Very good, opening wide. Maybe you bring your hands together to open your knees even wider. And then can we maintain this as we reach our hands up? So we're strong in our legs and we're long in our spine. Another inhalation here. And exhale your hands coming around down onto earth behind you. Bring your sit bones down, ground your feet into earth. Bring your hands forward as if you're holding the biggest heart you can possibly hold. <laughs> holding and shining your light from here. You slowly tilt your pelvis forwards and roll yourself down onto mat. Imprint your spine into earth. As your shoulder blades come down, you can continue to lie down, or you might want to come up one more time. Reaching up, and then roll yourself back down. So rounding, pointing, rounding, pointing, one vertebra at a time into earth, releasing down, and soften down. Bring your arms out to the sides, fingers in line with shoulders. Bring your knees up to chest. If you can, stretch your legs up to ceiling and circle, point and flex your feet. If that's not available, keep your knees into chest. Feel your sacrum ground, tailbone grounding. Move your legs in whatever way feels suitable right now. And then in your own time, bringing feet and knees together, knees to chest, exhale them over to the left. Let your knees and feet rest into earth and take your gaze to left hand to start with. And really let your body ground into earth. And then we slowly turn our gaze towards right hand and letting our right rib cage, our right shoulder blade grind, no, ground <laughs> into earth, reaching into right fingertips. Continue to expand with breath and soften with your exhalations. Have another inhale here as you exhale, you prepare and find your way back to center. Soften it out, wrap your arms around knees, hug them in, squeeze them in, open up. Drop your knees over to the right. Turn your gaze to the right. Let your knees soften into earth, your feet, relax them. When you're ready, turn your gaze to left hand. Reach a little deeper into left hand. Open chest wide. Breathe wide and spacious. Every inhale expanding. With every exhale, truly surrendering into gravity. We inhale and exhale to prepare, bringing our knees back to center, hugging them in one more time, maybe gently swaying left and right. Now, if there's anything else you might need on your way to Shavasana, follow your intuition, follow your body. Otherwise, just stretch out your legs, release yourself down. Shift around, grounding, pelvis, grounding, sacrum, Find an alignment that allows your spine to unfold, that allows your chest to be wide. So maybe tucking the shoulder blades under slightly and reaching your hands down alongside your hips, palms facing up. And see if you can make your legs a little longer. See if your neck could become a little longer, your arms, your shoulders a bit wider. Close your eyes, take a deep inhale through your nose, open your mouth and ah, surrender into earth. Do that one more time. Inhale through your nose, expand deeply and maybe contract throughout body and ah, drop into earth. And just let your breath be from here. Feel your eyes closed, feel your forehead soften. Feel mat and earth holding and supporting you. Feel what is alive in you. 
right now, this moment. And again, stretching, expanding your awareness, remembering the depth and richness of this moment. Remembering all our senses, our hearing, our vision, maybe there's a scent, you smell, a taste, it's the sensations on our skin, there's all that is happening within our physical body and then there's all that is happening in our mind. Open up to all of that and at the same time be that still point at the center of everything. Picture yourself like someone going to the movie theater, sitting down and there's this magnificent 360 degree <laughs> movie theater and you're watching all that is happening. That whole movie called life, all those experiences. And remember that we have a choice in how deeply we go into it. We can immerse ourselves into the movie completely, but we can always take a step back and simply watch whatever the movie is showing. The thrillers, the romance, the dramas, <laughs> it all belongs, but we can choose how immersed we become into it. Remember that there's always the option to remember space to listen closely to the world out there, to use our breath, to tap back into what's spacious, to find that stillness within that allows us to show up in an authentic and present way, spontaneous and creative, grounded and rooted in the here and now free from all those stories we hold about ourselves, showing up as the presence, awareness and love that you are. Now take a big deep inhalation to ground that and save that into your body and exhale, soften into this knowing. And as you breathe, you slowly bring movement and liveliness back into your body. And when you're ready, roll over onto right hand side, resting head onto earth or hand. Draw your knees up towards you, maybe wrapping your arms around you into a deep hug. And when you're ready, you come back up to seated, find your sit bones, crossing legs or your own comfortable seat. Check into shoulders, are you holding on to them? Can you relax them downwards? Could you possibly grow a little taller through your crown? Might you be able to open chest and heart a little wider? Without creating tension, we bring our hands together and rub them, rub them until they start shining or become warm. Stack your hands onto heart. Let that be a reminder that there's only one you and no one's better at being you than you. Let be a reminder of the connectedness of everything. Feel your heart center. We inhale together to reach and rise. And as we exhale, we bow, thanking ourselves and thanking one another. As you lift your gaze, you slowly open your eyes. And from the depth of my heart, I thank you for joining today's class. It was a great honor and pleasure to guide you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. And I wish you a beautiful rest of the day. Take this into your day. Don't leave it on your mat, but show up and dance this dance of sensing inwards, sensing outwards, moving with awareness and presence.